Kids don't wake up for smoke alarms. Scientists in the UK have found that smoke alarms often fail to wake children up. Researchers suggest children are not pre-programmed to recognize digital danger warning sounds, which could be the reason they often fail to respond to smoke alarms. A prototype new alarm would lower the standard smoke alarm frequency of 3000 Hz to 520 Hz and use a female voice to issue a verbal warning. Young children are said to be more likely to respond to this new sound alert. In an experiment, only 7 of 34 children tested were woken up by standard smoke alarms. Those who woke up were all girls. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more stories about deadly house fires. Chicago apartment blaze kills four children, injures two adults. Four children are dead, and two adults are hospitalized in critical condition after an apartment complex fire in Chicago's Roseland neighborhood broke out early Monday morning. Fire officials said the blaze appears to have started on the second floor of the 18-unit apartment around 3.30 a.m. Albert Miller was sleeping in his second floor apartment when he woke to his dog barking and his girlfriend saying that they had to get out of the complex. They could see flames outside their window. As Miller exited the front door, he saw a mother and her boyfriend jump down from a third-story window and hit the ground. 31-year-old Darlene Jones, who lives on the second floor, began banging on doors to alert her neighbors. Four children were killed in the fire, which firefighters put out by 4.30 a.m. Neighbors said they were a six-year-old girl, a 16-year-old girl, and two boys between the ages of 11 and 13. At least 50 people have been displaced from the courtyard building because of the fire. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Seven dead in apartment fire in Boston suburb. The people of Lowell, Massachusetts are mourning the loss of their neighbors after four adults and three children were killed in the deadliest fire the state has seen in 20 years. At around four in the morning on July 10th, a fire broke out in an apartment building above a liquor store. The fire was discovered by a police officer on patrol. These images posted on social media show the building engulfed in flames. One witness described seeing desperate residents dropping their children from windows to safety. Firefighters used ladders to rescue residents. Approximately 50 people were in the building at the time of the fire. Five people were found dead in one apartment in the right rear corner of the building, while two people were found in the left rear corner. At least 10 people were injured, including one firefighter. Authorities are also investigating reports the smoke alarms were not operating at the time of the fire. The surviving victims lost all of their possessions and a memorial fund has been established to assist them. House fire on Christmas morning kills four in California. Police are investigating the cause of a fire at a California home on Friday that tragically killed a mother and her three young children. Big Bear Lake resident Jose Carlos woke up on Christmas morning to the smell of smoke and went out to investigate. Outside, he saw one side of a Southern California home on fire and attempted to extinguish the flames with a garden hose but failed. Carlos ran back inside for his family, eventually retreating because the fire was too intense. Firefighters found him outside the house badly burned. Rescuers managed to pull Carlos's wife out of the home but were unable to resuscitate her. The fiery inferno claimed the lives of four people, including the couple's three children. Carlos was later airlifted to a hospital, though his condition is unknown. Authorities are speculating that the fire was sparked accidentally but have not ruled anything out. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Officials find dead bodies after a fire broke out in a house owned by retired tennis pro. Police discovered dead bodies inside a house owned by former professional tennis player James Blake on Wednesday. According to a spokesman for Blake, he had rented the Tampa home out to a couple who had two teenage children. The family has been identified as Darren Campbell, his wife Kim, and their children, 19-year-old Colin and 16-year-old Megan. Neighbors reported hearing an explosion before the fire broke out at the house. They also reported hearing gunshots, although officials said the noises may have been from things exploding in the fire. 
firefighters arrived at the address before 6 a.m. to put out the blaze. Afterwards, officials found petrol cans on the second floor. They also found fireworks, although they did not say what kind. Firefighters found at least three dead bodies inside the home after the fire, with some reports saying a fourth body was also found. Officials have not confirmed whether the bodies found inside the home were members of the Campbell family.